Hello again, whiskey friends. Welcome back to the Whiskey Riff Lounge. This is Kelsey. Tonight we have a triple header. So tonight we're going to do which bourbon is the best 10 year bourbon out on the market right now. Some of these, I guess you could say, or I guess most of these are allocated, but I wanted to find out like which one would I prefer? Not necessarily in a blind, but I know what these are, but which one should you be hunting? So let's get into that and find out. I'll get you uh, that answer in just a moment. Welcome back, everybody. So today we're doing a triple header, best 10 year bourbon on the market. Let's check it out. So this one just came out just a just a little while ago. We got some Old Forester. Let's do this so it focuses. 1924, 10 year old. Then we've got the tried and true Eagle Rare itself. Put that in front of my face so it focuses. 10 year. And then finally, this is batch two of JD10. So we're going to go with uh, the bourbon wrench glass for the 1924. The whiskey riffs Glen glass for, there we go, for the JD10. Or no, for the Eagle Rare, excuse me. And then the JD10 is going to be just a regular Glen. So. Well, buddy, uh, Trev loves Old Forester. Let's start with 1924. So if you haven't seen this yet, it did just release a little while ago. Uh, just dropped about two weeks ago, I think, here. So let's get into the nose on. I'm going to nose all of these first and then taste them one, one way this way and then go backwards. So cheers, whiskey friends. This is the Old Forester 1924. So on the nose, this one was uh, first crack a couple weeks ago and... I really wasn't as impressed with it as I'd hoped to be, but you never know. Um, it's kind of muted, to be honest with you. Um, you do get some of the oak. Um, I know this is a weird note, but a little bit of pencil shavings. Like, I guess it's the oak that's coming off that way to me, but... So on the nose, a little bit more delicate. Again, that's a hundred proof. Um, Eagle Rare, I think it's 90, yeah, 90 proof. And then the Jack is gonna be 97 proof. So these are all right around similar proof points, but I thought it would be cool to do this one and I hadn't thought about it before. So let's go to the Eagle Rare. Now your typical little bit of grape notes cherry note always there sweet oak just typical eagle note eagle notes <laughs> eagle rare notes on the nose um let's go on to jd10 here so that one is a similar note to the old forester one which brown foreman eh. let's see a little bit different profit process as far as the Lincoln County process is concerned with JD10, but I will say I preferred the batch two way more on the JD10 than the batch one. All right, so on the nose, let me go back through these. Okay. It's pretty close between Eagle Rare and 1924. Eagle Rare to me sticks out has a little bit more two of the nose of it. Um, let's get into the palette. We'll start from my left, your right, and then go the other way. Um, and then we'll take a little drink and go back the other direction. Let's see which one wins. I do have to say that's, that's opened up a whole lot. A lot of vanillas on the front. I mean, a lot of vanillas that I don't remember it being that strong. Uh, it's real delicate on the nose. Like there's nothing that like sticks out and says, wow, this is Old Forester amped up. 
Um, actually, to be honest, I think I might do another video on 1924 versus 1915 to see which old Forrester product I like the best. Um, if you're not familiar what 1915 is, it's basically just a mixture 50-50 of 1920 and 1910. So, first sip on this one was really good, guys. Um, it's opened up a whole lot. Wasn't a huge fan on the palate, I have to say, the first time I had it. But let's go in for a second sip and see if I'm... See how close I was on that. Yeah, it stays pretty consistent. It's really crushable, like easy, easy, easy to drink. Um, I like those vanilla notes. I'm not typically, I don't, even on the 1910, I don't remember being that vanilla forward. Um, this is the first whiskeys that I've drank today, but still. Let's go into the Eagle Rare. Cheers, whiskey friends. Um, if you're drinking these, uh, if you're going to do this with me, I would encourage you and leave the comments. So what is your favorite that you've tried? I would encourage you if you have all three bottles, do all three bottles and see which one you like the best and put it in the comments below. Mm. Really easy to drink that one as well. Um, I think I like the oak profile just a little bit more because it actually stands out a little bit more on that one. Now, again, that's just a regular Eagle Rare, not a store pick, just regular shelfer. Um, I'm amazed at the ranges of, on these, right? Like you got a typically $30 for Eagle Rare, most places, let's say, let's just say secondary is 60 bucks, okay? Go on the high side. 125 retail, 85 retail, um, so it's wide range of, you know, money that you could spend here. But so far I actually preferred, I want to say I actually preferred the old Forrester, um, uh, vanilla notes that really surprised me. Um, I'll go back through them again, but cheers. Let's, uh, let's get into the JD 10. So that one's starting to open up a little bit too, the longer it's set on the nose. You still get a little bit of sharpness on the nose on this one, though. Um, let's get in the palate. That's pretty good, too. It's really easy to drink. All three of these. This is a really great comparison. I didn't even think about this until tonight. I was thinking about what I wanted to record. It's a really, really good flight to, like, put in that side by side and really taste them side by side. Um, surprisingly, I think that JD might have the longest finish on it out of all three of these. The old Forester to me kind of hits real sweet and then goes away. Um, I'm going to take a drink here as you guys are, uh, listening and to me ramble and pulling these bottles, hopefully, and drinking with me. Um, Make sure you guys hit the like and subscribe. It really helps the channel. And make sure you guys watch us on Wednesday nights live. We've got uh, finals coming up next week. So make sure you catch that. Let's go back backwards through this. So we're going to go back to the JD-10 and then go through the Eagle Rare and then finish up with the Old Forester. And let's see what stands out. And the hard thing about these is, like I said, is it's so easy to drink. I really like that profile of the JD-10. I wish that it had that profile just a few proof points higher um, to see what it would do. Um, it's really good at that proof point. But for $85, um, hmm. I don't know. Let's let's keep going. We'll talk more about that in a second. Let's go to the Eagle Rare. Cheers, whiskey friends. God, I love that cherry and grape notes on these things. I love that that bottle for thirty bucks. When I can, I usually can find it for thirty bucks. So if you can't, sorry. A little bit more medicinal kind of notes off of that one. Than the other two the other two seem like a little bit more natural profile this one has a little bit more medicinal notes coming back through it um 
I don't know if that's the JD influencing that or whatever else. Just remember when you're doing blinds or you're doing something like this, the order that you put them in is going to affect how you taste them. So let's go back and let's get a final here. Ooh, whoa. Okay. That old Forrester nose opened up a whole lot. Wow. Okay, so all those vanilla notes that I was getting on the palate the first time where I said this was delicate and kind of muted, all that has been amplified now on the nose. All those vanilla notes are coming out. Okay. Yeah, I like that. I like that a lot. This is a lot harder than I thought it was going to be, guys. Um... So I will say finish wise, the JD had the longest finish out of all of these. Um, which profile do I prefer? Man, that's really hard depending on what day it is. But if I'm having to make a decision today, which I am, I'm probably going to lean more towards the Eagle Rare just for my profile. I like that medicinal note a little bit, but and I keep going back and forth. Hold on. Let me, get, let me do them side by side here. Yeah, that's really hard. So nose, Eagle Rare, liked it the best. That's the nose. Palette. That's really hard. I think I'm gonna have to go with Eagle Rare on the palette as well. And the finish goes to the JD then. So really good, like even comparison on this too, though. Um, let me know guys know what you think down in the comments below. For instance, which one have you tasted if it's batch one or two or three of the JD 10? Eagle Rare is just a shelfer, and then the JD or the uh, Old Forester 1924 just released. So it should be out there for you. Um, let me know, you guys know your thoughts. So, again, I think overall, I think Eagle Rare kind of took a, a, by a little bit, to be honest with you, which is kind of disappointing for me that I bought a bottle of the 1924 and actually preferred the, the Eagle Rare shelfer over it. Um, now I will say that the the store picks that I have of the Eagle Rare are pretty damn good too. Um, man, I just can't believe 125, and I actually preferred. It's good. Don't get me wrong. The the Old Forester is good. Don't don't hear me what I'm saying. But if you're gonna like save your money, which one should you get? Go 19. Go try 1924 at a bar. If you like it by the bottle. But 10 year wise, I, even the JD, you know, to me is really good, but I'm kind of sad to say it, but Eagle Rare, 29 bucks, 39 bucks, something like that. I don't know where you live. Pretty damn good 10 year old bourbon. So cheers to you, whiskey friends. And look what glass it's in. It's in the Whiskey Rift Lounge glass. I don't know if that's coincidence or not, but. Thank you guys for listening and tuning in. Make sure you put that stuff in the comments, whether it's one you like the most and why, and your thoughts about the price differences. I mean, you go from 30 to 80 to 130, 10-year bourbons. Somewhat of the same proof, too. So let me guys know your thoughts on that. Um, look forward to hearing from you, and make sure you guys tune in for our um, live streams every Wednesday night at 8 p.m. Eastern, 7 p.m. Central. Love you guys. Talk to you soon. Jeff, just be friends with me. But you have these whiskey friends. And you say hello again. Oh, Jeffrey, you should just be friends with me. But you have these whiskey friends. And you say hello.